Okay, so in the last video, we saw how to get Code Runner to run our code in a similar way to how CodeBlocks and Microsoft Visual Studio does it. But if you pay attention to the line of code that was used in Code Runner's CPP executor map, you will find that it is fine for running regular code that writes to the external terminal like displaying hello world or accepting user input like typing your name or a number. But when you try to involve some code that uses OpenGL, then you find that it doesn't work. Now, if we go back to my first video, you'll see how the necessary include parts, libraries, and linkers had to be added to Code Runner's CPP executor map, which gave us a really long line of code to work with. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't check to see if I could have that line of code be edited to take up multiple spaces rather than just have one long line, but I will check later. But but hey, um, I'm sure someone has already figured it out. So if you are that person, you can just leave a comment below that references the timestamp of the section of the video and just say it is possible. But I want to do something different this time. Now, you remember the shortcut Control shift b that runs a build task that builds your code? Well, why not create a build and run task which is controlled by a shortcut that you create? So let's get right into it. So the first thing we need to do is to launch our task.json file, which is this. You will probably recognize this file from the previous video, but I made us a few changes. Now, down here below the problem matcher, I added the part about show output to always. So you can just copy the section. And for the group, I made a little edit and it's in the kind build. So this is the same. And I, I believe this section is default. I had this part now set to true. So with this new code that is added here, whenever I press Control Shift B, it no longer displays any options that would have you would normally would have seen up here. But it just simply goes right into the build and right, you see, build successfully. But it still stops here. But what if I want to have a build and run? So after it builds successfully, it immediately launches another task, and or which I would call the run task, and it will just simply start running the program and you will see the external command prompt open with your hello world. So that's what we're gonna do. So I've done this before, so I'm just going to simply open the section that or the code that I found for it. I will make it available to you so you don't have to worry about typing it all out. And what we're going to do is we're going to add it below this first one. So right here. So we just leave a space and here is our close curly bracket. We're going to press enter there. I'm going to say control V. I'm going to add a comma and this will be our new section. So this is our other our new task. Now we're going to save it, control S. And notice if we go back to the hello world.cpp and we say control shift B, uh, we have two tasks now here. Now, this one, this first one, it says build OpenGL code task. So I'm just going to leave that as a name for now. And as you can see, it has the necessary include and libraries for your OpenGL. But this task is only building. So that is why I'm saying. Okay, so probably I shouldn't rename this to build only task. Okay, so build only, or should I say build open jail code only task? All right, and that is that. Now, this is where now we're gonna have to add our run section. So we're gonna come down, this is now we're gonna run it. And as you can see here, it launches the external command prompt in the process. But this is going to be the most important part. You see this part that says depends on. Now, what we're saying is that whatever is written in here, whatever the label is that corresponds to this label here. So whatever is written in this section right here is what's going to be run first before this entire task is run. So right now, we should have it set to build OpenGL code only task. So it means, therefore, that this is a task that will be run first, which is this one up here. Then this task that we just, this new one that we have just added will be run next. So that is what we want. So because of, we have that now, we just save it 
and then we're going to come back to here and when we press when we press control shift b okay so <laughs> i don't know why vs code crashed the second there but um i don't know maybe because my computer is slow but okay so when we come back to the hello world when we, when we say control shift b okay so here we have the build only and up here now we have the build and run now that is now the second one that's this right here the build and run that's this so that's the label so those are so it's a label that is displayed up here so we click on this and then look what's going to happen start in the build it finishes successfully and it's now going to immediately execute the task and this task is to open the command prompt so we're just going to wait for that and there you have it hello world is displayed so perfect and it should work for your, your OpenGL code as well because we, after all we have all of this so the task has been built already so all it's left to do now is just to simply execute it while opening the command prompt so so yeah that's how you can actually create a task that it and as a matter of fact it code runner is not involved in this process it's just simply using the tasks or executing a task without the use of code runner so yeah well, like in all things, there's improvements that can be made, and there is an improvement that can be made for this. I believe there's something called a master task, which is just simply a task that can control multiple tasks. So I definitely would want to try and see if I can have that involved into this, because so far, what if what happens if I want to execute three tasks? This basically only works for two. So I would definitely like to explore the method of the master task. So I'm going to be trying to release another video on Friday. Hopefully I can figure out how to make these improvements that I've been talking about at the end of these videos. So if this was helpful to you, please like and subscribe and I will see you again on Friday next week. All right. Peace.